of the great things about working for MTD is traveling around the country and the world looking at new technologies uh, and how they can be used in industry. Graham, we're here at Wimbro uh, Group Technologies now um, in a partnership with the Engineering Technology Group. The machine you're standing in front of here, which we've just seen in operation, is pretty fascinating. Just explain maybe what it is and what it's doing. Well, a little bit of adding extra technologies to our portfolio, Paul, is, is one of the areas we don't have is laser technology. And one thing that we can see moving forward is the, the potential or great potential for laser machining processes. So this particular machine here, which has been heavily used in the aerospace industry for cooling of uh, turbine components, we see our job at Engineering Technology Group of taking that into other sectors and other fields. So the five axis potential of laser machining is absolutely massive as we see it. Um, why would you use the laser though in this instance for the holes that they're creating compared to maybe other conventional methods? Well because of the hardness of the material, because it's going into a combustion chamber, the nature of those materials are very, very hard to machine conventionally. So it lends itself very, very easy to this type of process. Uh, and because of the sort of forms and um, uh, elliptical forms that need to be produced, anything which is not perfectly round has to be formed. And the laser process is fantastic for being able to do that. So where do you think, and I mean it's important to stress at this point that all of the machines we see here, everything's manufactured in the UK and it is a, yeah. it's a tremendous facility. Where do you see this going beyond the aerospace sector, maybe where this, this technology can be of well, assistance? I think the initial sort of uh, look that we've had on the market of where we think we could take this technology is we're sort of very big working with the medical sector at the moment. There's a lot of these processes that we see here could lend itself very nicely for new techniques in the medical industry. Uh, and outside of that, we want to be able to take that into to other sectors as well. So away from aerospace, where can we take it is exactly what we want to look at. How, how much clever engineering is under these or in these four walls, Graham? I mean, I have like to think I'm an engineer, but I've, I've learnt lots today. Yeah. Would you agree? Absolutely, and I think that's what Wimbro actually offers us. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're absolutely fantastic engineers. Their technology is beyond what we would normally see. Um, but from a marketing perspective, they, you know, they'll be the first ones to admit they don't actively go out on a marketing front. I couldn't believe so, what I was seeing here today. I didn't know yeah. about it. No, absolutely. And I think that is the problem. It's a sleeping elephant in here. And I think this, this facility here, from a sales process for us, is, is another showroom to what we've got in Wellsbourne, which we're really proud of. But as we try to move other uh, companies into these particular sectors, we've got a great facility that we can bring them in here and we're very open to be able to do that. And it gives everybody a, a really good understanding of, of what it is we can do, but more importantly, what's being built in the UK and what we can do as a UK provider. Yeah, I mean, as a cell now, you can provide, you're pretty complete, aren't you, with the technologies that you're offering from your milling, yeah. turning, 3D printing, EDM, laser, yeah. it, it's the whole, the whole lot now isn't it? Absolutely and I, th I think you've probably seen from some of the Nakamura cells we've done recently in Wellsbourne is we're seeing or being challenged by customers at the moment to look at more cellular manufacturing again at the moment so effectively where we may have some turning or some milling techniques some non-conventional techniques that we need to bring into the cell as well it's just another uh, product in our armory really that allows us to be able to deliver the total solution from Engineering Technology Group.